Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cloudmersive YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use the Cloudmersive PDF connector to pull text from each individual page in a PDF document. Using PDFs is a common way to share large documents in a system agnostic vector file format. One downside of PDFs is that they can make it difficult to isolate and extract plain text after the fact given all the bells and whistles involved in PDF formatting. This connector is one great way to take that problem off your hands. Let's get started. On the Power Automate homepage, click Create and select Instant Cloud Flow on the next page. Give your flow a name and then select Manually Trigger a Flow and click Create at the bottom when you're done. For the record, we're using an Instant Cloud Flow here just to make demonstrating and testing the project easier. Once we're done, you can easily go back and create an automated version instead. On the Flow Design page, click New Step and type Get File Content into the Operation search bar. Pick whatever action aligns with the application your test file is saved in. For me, that's SharePoint, so I'm selecting that option and specifying my site address right after. Then, use the file icon to the right to navigate your selected application's folder path until you reach your file. When you're ready, it's time to click New Step again and type Cloudmersive into the Operation search bar. When you do, you'll see a list of Cloudmersive connector logos come up below. In this flow, we're going to use the PDF connector with the pinkish purple logo, so you can go ahead and select that. Once you do, type Get Text in a PDF document and select the option to do so by page. A quick side note, at this stage, or possibly earlier, you'll be asked to input your Cloudmersive API key to authenticate connector access. To get a key, head to our website, cloudmersive.com, and register a free account. Now, it's time to give the connector the input it needs. First, click on the Input File bar and select File Content from the Dynamic Content window. Next, copy your file's unique identifier from the prior step in the flow and add that into the second parameter. Now that the connector is configured to pull text from your PDF file, it's time to tell Power Automate what to do with all that text. Click New Step and type Create File into the search bar. Once again, make sure the action you select is aligned with the application you want to save your new file in. I'm picking SharePoint again, so I'm selecting my site address. After that, I'm using the file icon to select which specific folder I want to put the output files in. Under File Name, I'm giving my file a name that includes the dynamic content page number before I specify a text file extension. You'll notice this will engage an apply to each operation in Power Automate, since there are multiple pages of text to pull from. Finally, I'm selecting the dynamic content option page text to define the contents of my new text files. Altogether, I'll get a new text file for each page of text in the PDF document I included, saved with the respective page number as the title for my reference. Let's now save and test the flow. Click save at the bottom of the page and then click test in the upper right corner. Select the option to trigger manually and then click test at the bottom followed by continue and run flow. This flow can take a longish time to run depending on the size of your PDF file. If it worked correctly, you'll see green check marks pop up in the upper corner of each operation in the flow. If not, you'll get an immediate error message identifying where the flow failed to run. To make sure it definitely worked, head to your target folder and look for your new files. As you can see here, I now have a bunch of new text files which contain nothing but the text from the PDF I used with the page number as the name of each document. It's just that easy. Check out more of our PDF connectors to find out how Cloudmersive can easily impact your automation flows. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Powered Automate tutorials in the near future.